Crash of the net, and you know, you're seeing pile up, and it's just desperation hockey, and we're seeing that, and that's what we want to replicate in our game. And the great thing about physics is, uh, you know, when you take the game home, every single game you can see something different, because it's just literally physics doing what physics would do in the real world and dropping that into our game. So dynamic, emergent gameplay because of the physics, 12-player physics, and leveraging the power of the console. Let's talk a little bit about the puck physics, because in a lot of times in the hockey game, oh, the puck slides across the ice. But in real life hockey, you know, it bounces, it rolls, it has all these little different changes in, in angles and directions. So uh, you were telling me a really cool story backstage about, about the puck physics. So why don't you share that with us? Yeah, puck physics for us is one of those things that, um, you know, our fans have told us could always get better. You get really immersed in the experience, and then the puck takes a bad bounce, an unrealistic bounce, and it takes you out there, and it reminds you you're still playing a video game. So what we want to do is redo our puck physics from the ground up this year. And, uh, you know, when we did estimates on how long it was going to take, engineers were saying it might take two, three years. That's a long time to get puck fixes in. And uh, we were lucky enough to have a person, an engineer, that worked on the Hadron Collider in Geneva, which is that big thing where they smash particles together and create black holes. That's about as much as I can speak to it. <laughs> uh, so we got a physicist that came over. Within 10 months, he has puck physics in our game. And literally, just like the player physics, all he's doing, we have a proper puck model in the game, and it's just doing what physics would do in the real world, looking at the velocity of the puck, what piece of the equipment is hitting, hitting the jersey, hitting the equipment underneath, and then reacting appropriately. So it's, it's, it's again, just modeling the real world, bringing that into our game and running all the math, leveraging the power of the console to run all that math under the hood to have realistic puck bounces. And that's not the only thing that's realistic. I mean, as far as the gameplay, that's, it's amazing. Also, the players themselves, you actually did three separate layers for the players. You have the player's body, then you have their equipment, and then you have the actual jerseys on top of that. So talk about how the, all the different layers are working together to make it a more realistic experience. Yeah, and again, on PS3, we had to take some liberties, um, but now with the power of PS4, what we're able to do is break that player down. Um, if you actually took the jersey off on the PS3, the player actually looked more like a, like a Michelin man, is what people <laughs> call it.